Hey everybody. Well, thanks for checking out my video. Haven't done a my garden video in a while. Uh, been busy with the garden. And uh, as you can see, there is my corn, and it is pretty much done for. Um, I picked everything pretty much there is to pick out of here, and uh, there's a few years left, but it wasn't worth picking, so uh, I guess crows can have it. And the uh, last two rows here are still pretty green, um, were the last two rows that I planted and uh, I've pretty much harvested everything out of there that's um, decent. So, had a good run with the corn this year. I think we pulled in close to 600 years or better of corn out of the garden. So, um, happy with it. And uh, got a lot of it frozen, put up in the uh, freezer. And gave some away to uh, neighbors and friends. So, um, shared some of my corn and... Uh, Ate a lot of corn for dinner every night. Kind of uh, sad that it's gone now, but I have it in the freezer, so I'll be able to enjoy it. And uh, take over, take you over here to tomato plants. They are pretty much done. And uh, what we're coming up to here is the um, big mama uh, plum tomatoes, or Roma tomatoes. Uh, I got these from Burpee, and they wind up with end rot on them, um, just like this one here, and uh, I've grown these for three years now. They get some really nice size tomatoes on them, and usually the first fruits that set you can pick and harvest. And then after that, it seems a lot of them just go to heck with end rot. Don't know why, uh, but it's been like this for three years. When my other tomatoes are doing fine, these things wind up with end rot. So last year for them, uh, I wrote a review on Burpee about them. And basically my title was Big Mamas Are a Big Disappointment. So uh, last year, wasting my time growing them. And uh, here are my other tomato plants. I've had to clear a lot of the leaves off of them with the blight. Uh, so I've been pruning them back. And uh, there's still some tomatoes, but everything is kind of getting to the end of the, the season here now, I guess. Um, I can't complain. Um, I got tons of cherry tomatoes. I, I stopped picking them actually. Um, but there's were tons of them So uh, had a good run with the garden this year. I'm not disappointed at all happy with uh, what we had and uh, Here's my pepper plants. They're doing very well uh, matter of fact, I started to stake them and I need to get some more string out here and tie up some of these uh, Branches they're starting to break off here. So uh, yeah, it's not good. Um, yeah, I gotta get these staked up. But you can see there's some nice peppers in here. And uh, not sure what brand these were or what variety these were actually. Um, these I grew from some peppers that my wife usually gets from the store in a bag. They're uh, multicolored peppers, and they're very sweet. And I took a chance at growing them with the seed, and it's done pretty well. So I'm um, happy with those. And uh, here's some bell pepper plants down here. Just getting some peppers on there now. And you can see the strings I got on here to uh, kind of help support these branches. So, uh, peppers are doing good. Here's another variety. I forget the name of them, but they turn like a purplish color as they uh, get bigger. They start out green, and they're pretty tasty too. All right, I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to walk through the back garden and show you what I got going on back there. Okay, I forgot about one thing here. Um, 
here's where my green beans were and as you can see it's been all tilled under I got it prepped and uh, I'm ready for my fall crop to come in here um, I already have two rows of broccoli planted just did that today I have a third row marked off I'm gonna put in some cabbage uh, a couple different varieties of cabbage some red cabbage and uh, some Brussels sprouts and uh, I'm gonna put peas in and um, also some lettuce so that's it for the top garden here I'm gonna head down to the uh, back garden okay well I'm back at the uh, second garden here in the back and uh, looking at my cantaloupe and they're doing okay it's been really hot back here uh, soil's pretty dry I gotta get some water out to them and you can see there's a uh, cantaloupe right there it's about ready to pick and uh, I've already pulled a few out of this hill and um, looks like I got one over there starting to rot unfortunately but I have gotten melons out of here so I'm not disappointed um, they've been good but the vines are starting to die off now and uh, take you over here this is my sweet potato row and these things are really growing well um, they're really spreading out and uh, actually I don't know if I can get in here to show you um, yeah these need some water too it's very dry in this back garden it's very sandy um, right here if you can see the dirt is kind of cracking and breaking and mounting up and that's a cluster of sweet potatoes right there and uh, they kind of push up the ground and displace ground as they grow um, and they got a while to grow yet I guess I don't know if I'll wait till frost this year to bring them in I might bring them in sooner and my watermelons now these uh, haven't turned out quite the way I wanted this year I had several varieties um, have some kind of problem with uh, the vines been wilting and dying off turning kind of yellow dying off and I'm not quite sure what it is I don't know if it's uh, some sort of bacteria wilt and you can see there's some rotting and uh, some here they're about ready to pick I think are probably ripe these things are pretty huge I mean there's my hand and you can see the size of this thing and uh, another one there I did pull one out already that was about 30 pounds and uh, some more up here a couple more big ones in there I don't know if I can get into them without stepping on the vines too much I'm gonna try to get around this side yeah all right yeah this one's huge too so um, hoping it's be ready soon the um, tendril back here, you can see that, is dead or brown. And from what I understand, that's usually a sign that the melon should be ripe or close to ripe. And there's always the sound test. I, uh, I'm not too good with the sound test. I usually look for the, the tendril to be dying off and uh, the stripes on the watermelon to lighten up. But uh, you know, that's basically it for this year. I don't think I'll be doing a lot more updates uh, with the garden. Uh, like I say, I did get it in early this year. And uh, matter of fact, I had a row of corn right here where you're looking in two rows. And I cut them under already. They're done. So that's about it. Just wanted to make a quick video. I'm going to get some water out here right now. So I'm going to... Uh, finish this video up and uh, get the sprinkler out here these uh, definitely need some water anyway thanks for watching and uh, have a great day